Let's look at the next example problem, also from the code. The problem is the minimum add to make a parenthesis valid. So in this problem, we are given a string of uh, left and right parentheses, and we are asked to compute the minimum number of uh, additional par these are parentheses that we need to add so that the resulting parenthesis string is valid. So the definition for a parenthesis string to be valid is, um, uh, I think it's what you naturally expect, but this is a formal definition. Uh, basically everything has to be paired. Every parenthesis has to have a matching, every open parenthesis have a matching end parenthesis and vice versa. So the formal definition, uh, one way to define it is uh, uh, first, um, an empty string is a valid parenthesis, and second, um, if a parenthesis string can be written as A concatenated with B, and both A and B are valid uh, parenthesis string, then this is still valid. And finally, um, if it can be written as a open parenthesis A and closed parenthesis B, where A is a valid string, then um, this is also a parenthesis, valid parenthesis string. And all parenthesis string can be constructed uh, in, this, uh, in this way, uh, applying these rules uh, one or more time. So uh, let's look at the example. Uh, example one is a valid uh, parenthesis string. Therefore, for this question, the output should be zero because we don't need to add anything. So the, the green, well, so the green pair is valid because uh, we can apply this rule, uh, the rule three, and uh, the open and end, and then the middle one is empty string. So then it's, uh, because empty string is valid, and then adding a parenthesis around valid string is valid, so then the green is valid. Similar reason, this blue is valid. And this uh, yellow um, is valid because uh, we can apply the this uh, third rule to uh, a pair. So basically apply third, the, the rule number three twice. And then the yellow and blue uh, concatenation is still valid, and then we add another uh, pair of parentheses around it is still valid, and then concatenate that with the valid green, that's still valid. So we can construct this valid string in this way. And uh, for the second example problem, uh, we need to add the two. Uh, so you can uh, stare at this uh, a little bit to convince you we really need the two. We need to add the uh, open parentheses uh, either in the beginning or s somewhere. So because we have two open and three close, we have to add open parenthesis somewhere. Otherwise, one of the this uh, close uh, one of this uh, uh, close uh, uh, parenthesis will not does not have a matching thing. And then after we do that, at the end we need a, another closing uh, closing parenthesis. Otherwise, the last open one doesn't cannot be matched with anything. So that's the how the problem. One way to solve this is to use a stack. So anytime we see a left parenthesis, we push it to onto stack. And anytime we see a right parenthesis, we try to pop. Basically, we try to pop the one that matches with it. And when we, if when we try to pop, there's always a uh, the, the the stack always have an element. So so. Uh, Note that the only thing we are putting into the stack is actually just open parentheses. So, uh, so basically, then when we try to pop, we just need to make sure that the stack is not empty. So, if any time we need to pop, the stack is not empty, and then after we process everything, the stack is empty at the end. Then the string is uh, is valid. Uh, if it doesn't satisfy the condition, then the string is not. Um, so I will not try to uh, prove that uh, formally, but I think intuitively it uh, it should it should appeal to your intuition to be true, and uh, you may want to take some time to to, to think about it if you are uh, kind of um, suspicious about this, feel suspicious about this. Um, so then, to compute the minimum add, then it's fairly straightforward. So. We need to add when we try to pop, but the stack is empty. So then we have to add a open parenthesis before. So basically, add something in the in the stack, and then after we add, we immediately pop. So we basically we just need to remember we we need to add one, and then we also need to 
add this uh, close parenthesis at the end to make to make the stack empty. So if the if after we process a string, the stack have two elements left, then that's two open parentheses that do not have uh, corresponding end parentheses. So we have to add two to the answer. So uh, this is uh, how the stack would work for this uh, particular input sequence. When we see the first, we push. When we see the second open, we push. When we see the first, the close parent, we pop. So then the stack just have a one uh, open. And then we see another one, we pop, the stack is empty. Then we see another one, another close. The, this is where we know we have to add the open parenthesis. In fact, adding open parenthesis here would work. It will also work if we add it earlier. In fact, uh, if we can add it here works, we can add it anywhere earlier that will still work. Uh, but we have to add one. So we, at this point, we know we have to add one. And uh, after we add, we also need to pop. So, so, so then at this point, the stack is still empty. The next one is open parentheses, we push, and then we are done. We process the string, but the stack still have uh, one open parenthesis. So we need to add another one to, um, to, to clear out this guy. So we need to add two. So this is uh, Java code for doing this. Um, so it, here I use an array deck instead of stack, so the more modern thing. Um, I use an a array deck of character. And uh, if the, the, the character <coughs> is open, parentheses, we, we add it to the stack. So we <coughs> use this at first. Otherwise, we know we have a closed parenthesis. So then we check whether the stack is empty. If the stack is empty, we will. We know we have to add one. So this answer stores how many we need to add. Uh, if it's not empty, then we we pop. We remove the first uh, first element. Um, and after the string is done, if the stack is not empty, we need to add the corresponding close uh, parentheses. So I just uh, take the size of the stack and then um, add it to the answer. So that's that approach. Um, but actually, this problem can be solved without using stacks because uh, uh, all we have is uh, one single kind of parenthesis. We just have uh, this uh, um, uh, th these uh, parentheses. We don't have um, uh, the, the the square bracket and the curly bracket. When we have um, square br bracket and curly bracket, then we we do need to use stack. At least that's the the most natural way to do it. Um, so we, in one of the homework problems, you will uh, deal with uh, uh, parentheses, uh, and there you do need to use stack. But because we only have one kind of parentheses, the stack we have, it's uh, all the element in the stack that we push in is all of the same kind. So actually, all the information we have in the stack is simply how many open parentheses still is still uh, do not have uh, matching yet. So so the information is simply a number. So, so the, all the information we need is actually just a number. So then we, we don't really need the stack, we just need the integer. So another way to look at this is um, the, we can define valid parentheses uh, in another way, so equivalent way, by saying first the string has to have the same number of open and close. So that's pretty obvious. If you don't have that, then it's not going to be valid and you can also uh, see that if you construct the string following to this, then this has to be true. Um, you can uh, formally prove that by mathematical induction uh, in, on the length of the, uh, I think it needs to be generalized reduction on the length of the string. So assuming all valid strings satisfy this, uh, uh, valid strings, uh, valid parentheses strings of uh, length less than K satisfy the condition, then we can prove that uh, uh, valid parenthesis string of length k must satisfy this. And um, uh, also, uh, no prefix of the string contains more closed parentheses than open parentheses. So that's, uh, again, if you violate this, then clearly you will violate this. So uh, you can prove their equivalence more formally, but here I'm not going to do that. Um, but exploiting this uh, intuition, or equivalently exploiting the intuition that all we are maintaining in the stack is simply a number, we can solve this uh, um, problem without using a stack. So uh, it's helpful to view each open parenthesis as plus one. 
and this close parenthesis is a negative one, then the a valid parenthesis string will result in all the, the, the prefix sums are always non-negative because whenever it's negative, that means you have more close parenthesis than open parenthesis, and it can be valid. And at the end, it has to be zero. So um, then the problem can be solved by maintaining a rounding prefix sum. Um, yeah, so that's just explaining that's equivalent to using the stack when the, the only, we are always pushing the same thing onto the stack. So the information in the stack is simply the number. So just to repeat, if we have more than one type of parentheses that are used, then we need a stack. Because one number cannot capture the information. So we, we need to know whether it's a square bracket after a, a, a open parenthesis or it's a open parenthesis before. So th that information, uh, we cannot keep track of that in, uh, in a single number or actually a few numbers. So we need a stack to do that. So uh, this is a Java code for this problem without using a stack, just using a, uh, so balance is the rounding sum of the prefix, count is the number we need to add, um, we need to add, the number for parentheses we need to add. So whenever we see a left, we increase balance. Whenever we see um, a, a close parentheses, we decrease balance. And when balance is less than zero, we need to, they, 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 then it should be negative one. So we need to bring it back to zero. At the same time, we add um, uh, to count. So this basically, this condition corresponds to, we are adding an open parenthesis. And at the end, um, whatever balance we have, we have to add a sufficiently, uh, sufficient number of closed parenthesis to cancel it out. So the result is uh, count plus balance.